What's going on, you guys? Chasing here with your daily movie recommendation. Uh, today is a big day because for the first time ever uh, in the world of professional wrestling, WrestleMania, which is the equivalent to the Super Bowl of wrestling, is going to be a two-night event starting tonight. Uh, if you're not a pro wrestling fan or don't know about WrestleMania, I'm sure you don't care about any of this, but WrestleMania is usually a one-night spectacle where they call it the showcase of the immortals. All the great moments in wrestling happen at WrestleMania. Uh, but because of, obviously, the pandemic and everything going on, it was split into two nights, shot in a private, um, their private performance center with no audience. But as a marker for the beginning of WrestleMania 36, which starts here today, my movie of the day is going to be none other than the wrestler uh mickey rourke a true uh movie star of the 80s and films like the diner uh he went on to make a lot of films and become a heartthrob for many very very famous very popular and, and at one point of my um journey with cinema i became very much a fan of mickey rourke however um <laughs> A change of pace to get into the boxing world and, you know, probably some ad addiction and some other things that he did managed to get Mickey Rourke out of the movie making business. But they called The Wrestler the resurrection of Mickey Rourke's career. And let me tell you, it is easily the best performance of his career. I love Mickey Rourke. Uh, the 80s Mickey Rourke is something that I'll always cherish and, and be a fan of. But um, as professional wrestling is a subject that is very near and dear to my heart, but also someone who respects artists of all walks of life, whether they be musicians or, you know, they play in an orchestra, or they lead an orchestra, uh, they're painters, they're sketch artists, or professional wrestlers, I really do reflect and look at that as an art form. The wrestler tells the story of... a. Uh, older wrestler who at the tail end of his career is kind of dealing with going back to reality if you don't know much about the pro wrestler life they are on the road nearly 300 days out of the year constantly traveling and then when they get to an older point of their career they really aren't wanted by the big promotions and they're found working independent angles or working in gyms or you know like fremont street these these very small sideshow type um federations Mickey Rourke plays a character known as the Ram, and it's really, really about his end of his career and him kind of coming to terms with it being the end of his career, if he's going to allow that to happen, uh, him having to deal with his family, his daughter, and people that he's kind of not been by during his professional wrestling career. Uh, it's a very emotional movie, but it's a very well-made movie, and it's also probably a movie that really opens the doors about how wrestling fans or people in the industry really look at professional wrestling you know uh, as a wrestling fan you've always heard like oh wrestling's fake why do you watch it well so is breaking bad game of thrones and every other television program why is this art form any different if you go to see a theater show or Waterworld or universal studio it's all planned and staged but that doesn't make it any less exciting or emotionally engaging so um i think this movie gives people a look into what wrestlers go through i think it brings a humane side of professional wrestling and and the idea of being having a fandom but not a family which is a huge theme in mostly every professional wrestling's life not saying all wrestlers don't care there for their families or anything but it happens because they're on the road so much that this is the kind of scenario you know you have a, a grown daughter that you have to kind of apologize and, and make do with and that's what mickey work character goes through so um a much more depressing and not as exciting thing as wrestlemania but a true real look at the world of professional wrestling professional wrestlers and just a really really great character study and a marvelous performance and a well-deserved nom uh, at the oscars for this for mickey Rourke. so back to mr james shoe and happy wrestlemania